white moisturization is that a word <laughs> no good i don't know just moisturize your skin it'll feel good <laughs> I'm back. I'm sorry I didn't upload last week. I was on vacation which inspired me to make the video that I'm making now. I did go to Vegas and I was going to vlog in Vegas but I ended up hating the vacation. But that is for another video. I think I'm going to make a video on why I didn't really like Vegas and um, what you're going to expect when you go to Vegas. But anyways I wanted to make this video for everyone who gets back from vacation feeling sluggish, bloated, tired. So if that's you, keep watching this video. The first tip that I have for you when you get back from vacation is to unpack immediately. You want to unpack right when you get home because then you're going to feel much more accomplished to have all your dirty clothes out of your suitcase, wash your clothes, get your toothbrush out, wash your toothbrush container, get all your makeup out, wash your makeup brushes, everything. Just get everything out and you're gonna feel a lot better about yourself and your room when it's clean and you have everything unpacked. You feel a lot better and more accomplished. Yeah, I, I strongly recommend that you unpack your suitcase immediately right when you get home or at least a couple hours before you go to bed. Um, the second tip I have is to drink lots of water. Right when you get home, like chug, like a big glass of water and just keep like drinking water throughout the day or the next couple days I mean you should be drinking water all the time obviously since it's really good for you but especially when you get home from vacation you want to drink as much water as you can to flush out that extra sodium and extra like all the bad food that you've been eating on vacation you didn't gain weight I promise you probably at least gained maybe like a pound not even of actual weight gain everything else that you see on the scale is water weight so yeah drink a lot of water to flush out all the sodium that you were taking in on vacation um, my next tip is to eat healthy again so like i said before you've been eating like burgers french fries pizza whatever you've been eating on vacation at the restaurants um but eat healthy again, so incorporate your fruits and vegetables, your protein, and less carbs or whatever you're doing when before you went on vacation. You might have been dieting before you went on vacation to look good for a vacation and your bathing suit or whatever, but I highly encourage you to just don't do the whole diet thing. Just get back to eating like your regular balanced meals throughout the day, um, which brings me into my next tip, which is to not under eat. A lot of people when they get back from vacation think that they ate way too much on vacation and I'm so fat, I'm so bloated and I'm a mess and I need to under eat. I need to not eat for the rest of the day when I get back home. I need to do this and this and this and it's not right because like I said in my other videos about I had binge eating disorder and everything that you're gonna go through a constant cycle if you're um, under eating because then the next day you're just gonna be eating, overeating again and it's just not a fun cycle to be in. So remember to not under eat, just eat your balanced healthy meals. Don't go crazy with the dieting. Don't diet at all, in my opinion. It's not good for you. Um, tip number five is to get extra sleep. So on vacation, you're most likely not going to have the best sleep of your life. Um, if you're sharing a room with family or friends, they might be snoring, they might be getting up early to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, they might wake up early to go to the gym, whatever. Um, so you're probably not getting the most sleep and you're probably not going to bed super early either. So I would just recommend that the day that you get back, try I mean depending on what time you get back try to take a nap or if you're getting back at night try to unpack immediately and go to sleep as fast and as soon as you can and it would be amazing if you didn't have work the next day but if you do have work the next day get up try your best go to work come back take a nap and just go to sleep early so you can get enough sleep as possible for the next day you just want to feel good and 
it's amazing what sleep can do. My next tip is to moisturize. So, I don't know, I pack lotion, but I don't always do my skincare routine on vacation. It's just all messed up on vacation. Like, I usually don't, like, moisturize. I forget. I don't know, but... You're in the sun all the time, and even if you're not like laying at the beach or anything, you're still, if you're sightseeing, you're still walking around getting that sun, and your skin probably feels really dry and just sunburned, whatever. So use aloe or moisturize as much as you can. And um, my last tip for everyone is to work out two days before or after you get back from vacation. If you want to work out the day after you get back from a long vacation, more power to you. I support it. But personally, I like to take the day after I get back from vacation to relax, re-reboot, and just get my sleep, feel better, take a nice shower, eat good food, and just relax and watch a movie or something. And then the next day after that, I like to get my life together and go to the gym and do all that good stuff. And um, I think it's been like I don't even know what day it is today. Thursday. I got back on Monday and I still haven't worked out yet. It's just, we all take times differently, especially because I didn't really like Vegas. The point is, just take your time. Don't freak out and don't stress over your, like needing to work out right away when you get back. When you're on vacation, just enjoy your life. Enjoy your time. Enjoy the food. And work out whenever you can when you get back. And just relax just don't stress so much life is too short to be stressing over these small little things about our bodies and i know it's hard i know like all the pressure to feel good in a bikini is hard whatever but i don't know it's it's really a shame that society is like this today that we always have to look good in our bodies and our bikinis and whatever with instagram but just relax, take a deep breath, don't stress so much. You want to hear more about my Vegas experience from someone who didn't really like Vegas, thumbs up this video. Um, comment below what you if you want to hear it. Um, I really appreciate you guys and your support and keep subscribing and yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next video.